Honestly, I'm so <coughs> thrilled that you're all here. We're doing a Bond special. And obviously, you're all in Skyfall. We're going to talk about that. But before we do, just very got a quick talk about the last time we saw you as Bond uh, with Her Majesty, the Olympics. Mm -hmm. uh, like, how long was that in the planning? Um, quite a long time. Uh, Danny Boyle came to visit me on set. Um, he sat me down. He told me what he wanted to do. And I walked out and said, <laughs> um, I really thought he was just pulling my leg. So, um, anyway, the whole kind of thing, um, you know, came about. Next thing I know, I'm at the palace, so... Cos you must have thought, oh, I'll agree to it, but it'll never happen. You know, you can say... Well, it. I didn't... I mean, I thought they hadn't sort of had the OK from the palace, but apparently they got that first and then asked me, so I didn't have much choice. Oh, yeah, would, imagine if you'd turned it down. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't you do some improv with the desk? She was... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she does it. She does improv every Friday night. <laughs> um, I, she uh, she kind of invented some stuff to do. She said she asked if she could maybe pretend to write a letter. But so so she was doing something as I walked in. Oh, okay. which was I thought was very good. And there was a lot of talk about how grumpy she looked at the actual ceremony. <coughs> mm. And I have a theory. Is it because she didn't understand that for continuity she'd have to wear that salmon dress again on the night? <laughs> do you think she knew that? I don't know. I don't... <laughs> Were you asked to be involved in this? Because as M, it would have been... No, not at all. <laughs> not at all. I was extremely miffed. Yeah. Sure. And then I saw it all happen. I thought, there we are, in spite of us all. <laughs> <laughs> he never let on. He never said a word. Did you not say anything? Nothing. Did you? you? No, no. I don't no, speak no. English. <laughs> <laughs> Travelling around, uh, Roger Moore, when I talked to him, he talked about how it didn't matter where he went, he could show up in a village in Timbuktu and people would go, James Bond, James Bond. Mm. W were any of these locations, could you go there and people didn't know that you were James Bond? Um, no, no. Uh, um, <laughs> That's crazy, isn't it? It, it is crazy. I can't, I can't get my head around it at all. I mean, I've been in some very remote locations. Well, you've got to think, there isn't a cinema, you don't have a television. How the hell do you know who I am? And yet I... they do. I think most people, too, have television, so, I mean... <laughs> <laughs> um, there are very few places I'd get, you know, and, you know... Yeah. So, and, uh, and because you are James Bond, presumably people treat... Do they treat you differently? Are there, are there perks? Are there downsides? I get treated very, very, very well, and I have to kind of keep my feet on the ground, otherwise it would really go to my head. More than it's gone to my head already. Because <laughs> <laughs> um, I heard you saying that uh, drinks just appear. It doesn't matter where you are, drinks appear. Usually, sort of at nine o'clock in the morning as well. <laughs> and someone will say, yeah, no, no. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> There's not much wrong with that. No, you're right. Um, oh, yeah, is get, that yeah. why you don't want to offend people? Oh. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's why he's drunk. It's a all good day. excuse. <laughs> now, Daniel, in terms of being offered the part of Bond, mm. you were quite reluctant, I think, to say yes. I was very reluctant. I couldn't quite understand why I was being asked. That was really. It was off my radar, really. I, I, I mean, Barbara Broccoli approached me uh, to play it and um, I said, you're interested. I said, well, thank you very much. It's very nice, but I think you got the wrong guy. Um, but she was quite persistent. Because it's not like saying yes to anything else. I mean, if you walk into a village in Timbuktu, someone will go, James Bond. And I have. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what does that do to your head? I mean... Um, it's... It's quite disconcerting at first, but I, I, I kind of enjoy it now. I think that I, I, I'm, I'm enjoying making the films, and it's sort of a part of my life, and it's, it, it's an honour. It's, it's a real honour to sort of, sort of to, to do it. So I, I kind of take, I, I take it and enjoy it. Uh, I can't, there are places I can't go to, but, I, you know, I live in New York and London, and people have got more important things to do. They don't really care. That, yeah. You know, they just go, oh, well, that's James it. Bond. Yeah. Bond. <laughs> <laughs> and do you have to audition for Bond? Uh, yeah, I had to do a full day screen test. Well, it was supposed to be a full day, and halfway through the day, I went sod this. I'm not doing any more. Walked off. But I mean, that was. Uh, well, I mean, I'd sort of done enough. One of the things you have to do is you have to do a scene from from Russia with love. Uh, you know the scene where he comes in. I, I don't even remember it. He comes to the room, and uh, Tatiana, whatever her name is, lying naked in bed, and there's a sort of scene about. You know, is that your gun? You know, oh, you know, okay. Like, yeah, yeah. And then they're filming it from behind. Um, so I, I, I did that, and then I had to take my shirt off for some reason, but I'm not quite sure what that was about. <laughs> <laughs> was that the end of the day? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> did you have to do stunt? Did you have to do a forward roll and stuff? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> did he really make you think? Handstand. <laughs> <laughs> but 
In terms of auditions, uh, I guess what's nice is you're auditioning for a really great job. In the beginning, you had to do terrible, like commercials oh, and stuff. Have. You must have done those, though. They're, yeah, they're terrible. I mean, it's, I mean, it's part of... Uh, there, was a, there was a short period, my agent's here tonight, she used to put me up for commercials and she gave up. Because I'd, I'd, I'd go along to these things and they'd sort of, they'd say things like, OK, I want you to pretend to mow the lawn. <laughs> it's, for, it's, for, it's for coffee. And we want you to be so happy dancing to um, you're Walking on Sunshine by Katrina in the Waves, go. And I could go, it's walking on sunshine. <laughs> and, go, and that would, I could never, I could never, you know. Well, a little bird tells me you still yeah. know all the moves. <laughs> Craig, we turn to you. <laughs> because you started very young as well. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> no, you were in school, you were the National Youth Theatre. Now, when did you do Panto? How old were you when you did Panto? Um, 15, 14. 15, 14. Yeah. Now, annoyingly, we only have a still. But it's still a quality picture. It's still a quality still. This is Daniel Craig. Uh, see if you can spot which one he is. Uh, he is one of the ugly sisters <laughs> in Cinderella. Now, can we zoom in on the faces? Right or left, ladies and gentlemen? <laughs> left. <laughs> and we, I, uh, do you know who that is? Uh, I think it's um, Richard Kelly. Oh, thank you. <laughs> A long time ago. <laughs> Richard Kelly. Richard Kelly! Yeah, Richard Kelly. Yay! Yeah. He's here tonight. No, he's not. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Where was that? At school. At school production of Cinderella. You really went for it, didn't you? That's my career right there. <laughs> <laughs> Commitment, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. I'll think about when you're making a movie like this, uh, Daniel, you do hurt yourself a lot. Like in, yes. in, the, in the previous ones, what's happened to you? Um, I've had my right shoulder reconstructed. I've had... Uh, this left knee operated on, my right knee operated on, um, my thumb hurts. <laughs> Dry scalp. A lot. <laughs> <laughs> she crotch. <laughs> it's very difficult. <laughs>